My name is Dr. Graham Polanti. I am an adult reconstruction surgeon here at Orthopedic One. I did my orthopedic residency at Mayo Clinic and then my training in hip and knee replacement at the Cleveland Clinic. Um, I work primarily out of the Taylor Station offices as well as the, the Grove City offices. Today we're going to be talking about total knee arthroplasty. A knee replacement really is a resurfacing of the end of the bones that make up the knee joint. So there's really two major parts of the joint. One articulation is between the femur and the tibia, and the other one is between the patella or the kneecap and the femur. Oftentimes, there is arthritis in one or more of those locations, and so our job is to remove the surfaces that are arthritic and replace them with a new articulation. So typically, that involves a metal component on the end of the femur, a metal component on the end of the tibia with a plastic piece in between that actually makes up the joint. Additionally, many times we will resurface the underside of the kneecap and place a plastic button under there as well. Total knee replacement is generally performed for arthritis. Knee arthritis is a condition in which the articular cartilage on the end of the femur and the tibia is thinned and causes pain. Um, there are other reasons that you might need a total knee replacement, like having a prior injury or having uh, autoimmune condition that causes you to have arthritis and knee pain. Uh, generally, patients uh, experience progressive pain over a long period of time, many years, sometimes months, and uh, they try many treatments prior to having surgery. Um, we always try to exhaust conservative treatments ahead of time. Those would include over-the-counter pain medications called NSAIDs. Um, typically, those are medicines like Aleve or Advil. Um, sometimes those aren't strong enough and we offer prescription NSAIDs like Meloxicam. Some of the other mainstays of conservative treatment would include joint injections. Those are typically done with cortisone. There are some other types of injection that you may have heard of like uh, gel injections, PRP, or stem cell injections. Otherwise, uh, many patients try physical therapy before they undergo surgery to try to strengthen the muscles around the joint. So typically the process for having a total knee replacement starts preoperatively, where we make sure that medical conditions like heart problems, lung problems, are sorted out ahead of time so that we can optimize patients for surgery. Certainly, we always want to make sure we have mitigated all of the risks ahead of time so that we can have the safest procedure possible. Sometimes we send patients to physical therapy ahead of time so that it can be more comfortable with using walkers or some of the exercises after surgery. The surgery itself takes 60 to 90 minutes. But the process is longer than that for patients because it involves both preoperative uh, checklists and postoperative checklists in the anesthesia recovery area. Some patients are able to go home that same day. Other patients we keep overnight to monitor their heart or lungs or other potential complications that could occur at night. And then they'll go home the next day. The recovery after surgery can be divided into a few sections. The first one or two weeks is typically slow and does not involve much activity. And most people within those first couple of weeks are using a walker to get around. After those first one or two weeks, people start to become a little bit more mobile. Um, they kind of graduate at their own pace off of the walker and maybe switch to a cane. And that process usually lasts another three to five weeks. And then the last month or so of recovery is just getting that last bit of mobility, getting back to doing some light exercise and things outside the house, grocery shopping, going to the mall, whatever that may be. And most people by about the two or three month mark are most of the way recovered. Um, generally about 80% of the recovery is done in that period of time. Total knee replacement is a big operation, can be scary, especially if you don't know uh, much about it going into it, um, but there's no question that for the right patient, a total knee replacement is a really good option for treatment of knee arthritis and can really provide long-lasting benefit and get you back to doing the things you want to do 
for many years to come.